do a reaction and she writes herself a test delusion without no further ado here we go ask everyone to rate themselves on the scale of one to ten so let's do that ten. <clears throat> um kiko so okay we'll start with you go ahead ten a fat fucking ten a fat Fucking ten. <laughs> Period. I mean, I'm just saying what everybody in the comments is gonna say. Be like, oh yeah, she's a fat fucking ten. Like, Period. Is there a comma somewhere in in that statement? Honestly, I'm, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> what was said was said. Okay. Yeah. I said what I said, and I meant what I said. Okay. Period. Yeah. Um, On I'll a scale of one to eight. ten. Ten. Answer were you a, the same. Were you a 10 last time? Yeah, I was a 10 okay. last time. <coughs> Billy Ray. Um, we should have waited till Deborah was back, but... We'll come back to her. I feel like I'm a 6.7. Why <gasps> the fuck would you ever say <gasps> something like that? that? Physically that? or overall? <sighs> oh, I'm factoring everything in. Really? Yes. With everything factored in? <laughs> Um, uh, you know, if on. I were to rate it, hold hold on. Sorry. two hundred dollars. Thank you, Martin. Deborah, no long-term commitment, but we can make an agreement. <laughs> She's in the You'll sign a NDA, grow your hair out a bit, convert away from Judaism. <laughs> I'll coach you to speak a little less. She's not even here. Imagine her hearing this in the bathroom. And you and my girlfriend can compete for my affections. <laughs> uh, yo, Marquavius, I'll I'll trigger it again once she's back. Um, so don't worry about that. Thank you, though. Go ahead, Deborah. Or sorry, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Deborah. Um, what do you feel like you could improve on? Toasty, I know to you ain't you from talking. To bring you 6.7 to like an 8 or a 9. I feel like my fitness is lacking. Okay. Um, okay, one point. Fitness is lacking? No, my appearance, I'm not a 10. Fitness is lacking? Wise. I disagree with into the, the mic. People into the mic. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I disagree with the ratings people have given Do you themselves. know where the rating skill comes from? It's supposed to be if you line up 10 random men and you ask them, would you fuck her? And what? they would say yes or no. no. That's originally where it came from. Nope, that's what? not how that works. Where did it come from? Tell me. Well, now I'm being... The I'm, 10 rating scale? How educate me where it came from. That's if you know, not how if that you know, works. tell me, just tell me. Think, well, just think about, tell me. It, think about it intuitively. If a 10 is like a perfect woman, like absolutely maxed out attractiveness. 10 is supposed to be on physical... It's supposed to be on physical attraction so if we're only. Talking, we're not if supposed we're to talk about personality. Yeah, if we're talking just physical attraction, 10 is like the most attractive woman you could possibly imagine. Yes, it's 10 out of 10 for a reason because you're lining up 10 and you're counting how many points are you getting. That's why. What, it's, what do you mean you're lining up ten? Where like does lining up ten women supposed, come into this? No, I'm saying ten men, like or opposite gender of you. I mean, opposite gender of you. You're supposed to be. It's the point is. You tracking with this, Deborah? You guys. Where Where did it come from? Then tell me. Tell me where it came it's, from. It's It's just. It's like like okay. What are you like? If you're a five, then you're like very like average. Yes. If you're like an eight, because five out like, of ten people would would be with you. No, that's not that's what, what that's it, not that's not what it is. No, I'm just not, say, I'm saying how many people would be with you. It's 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 not how many people would be with you. It's like like 10 is physical perfection. Yes. I understand Wait, that. Okay. I'm not disagreeing with that. Not because 10 guys would sleep with you. Like you could have a girl who's like a 7 and 10 guys would would all sleep with her. It, but that doesn't I mean that she's a 10. Yeah, like, I didn't of, factor in that thank you, who life. would sleep with me in my Rating. We're, ta yeah, no, we're talking not, about off of attractiveness. It's not about how many men would sleep with you. Okay, thank you. We're talking about attractiveness. Mm -hmm. You truly believe on a skill base that you're a 6.9. She said 6.7. 6.7, yeah. That honestly would make you a 6 in my eyes because that's it's your... Confidence. Your Hurts. confidence Hurts. level, you're no, you're humility. doubting yourself. Wait, you just you know, said it's purely based looks. on physical attraction. I know. You're saying uh, her humility Eric, brings her down. It's a fucking Hold joke. on, guys. It was a joke. Uh, Ad block is. You gotta. <laughs> Thank you. Close that. And I was talking yeah, to her. F11. Still see us? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. No, compared to um, all of the women in w the world, I'm the rating chat. myself on that scale. Me and compared to every yeah. woman in the world yeah i feel like yeah. it'd be the yeah. same if you said you're a perfect 10 that people are always gonna hate so i think as well just go okay, with white wait, delusional so, believe. kiko going back you know? to this whole if you lined up 10 people and if they all wanted to sleep with you that makes you a 10 okay so they all found you attractive i was just trying to i was just going yeah but that's a binary yes or no are yeah. they attractive however yes. there's degrees to attractiveness exactly that's why it's supposed to be like 10 random people like maybe from all over the world like not just 10 people from san that's, francisco or that, just 10 people from la that's I've the way i've never to, heard this yeah i've never heard that either. that's not okay well that's not <laughs> what we mean 
Google where you look up anything else. Bing, if you use that I still, y'all. Okay, no, it's is. like it's like this. It's, it's like this. It's the hottest it's possible degrees. Victoria's Secret model. Just but it's physical. Hold on. Just physical perfection is a ten. How might you compare yourself to her? Do you think ten. do you, you think you're like the most attractive specimen that's ever walked this earth? I wouldn't say there's oh, there's par. not is there not people on who are on par with the most attractive can specimens I answer? that have ever walked this earth. Can I answer? We give you permission. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> um, I mean, he's like keeps shooting things. I mean, hasn't really let me respond. Just Sorry. Go. go ahead. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. Yes, but that's saying that there's only one ten in the world. There's not no, only one no, no, ten. There's no. multiple tens in the world. That's not. How and I'm, not I'm, I'm up. Saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying yes. The TikTok has gotten into your brain, Kiko. I don't use TikTok really. You have a TikTok called Rage Quit Kiko. I know, but I just made that. I have like 900 followers. So what, yeah, how is 900 famous. followers getting you're to my famous, head? You're famous, Kiko. Oh, thank you, Brian. Okay, that I've never heard that. I wish Look you had t- explained that before, but that's not how you define that. That's it, right there. Sh- Sean Mays. Thank Ten, you. Ten, perfect. Thank you, Nine, very beautiful. Eight, beautiful. Seven, very pretty. Such Ten. handsome. Six, so you're s- six, pretty handsome. Five, average. Four, below average. Three, unattractive. Two, very unattractive. One, hideous. Rate accordingly. Hashtag Christ is Lord. Let's go. Ten. So you think you're like physical Billy, you're perfection? not a 6.7. Mm-hmm. All things Kiko, considered. you're a 10 in delusion. You don't want to tell what you are, Dis- Brian. That's right. Well, I don't das think I'm right. a 10. I know that. I would hope not, but that's not I don't what I'm think, saying. Oh, I mean, overall, you don't want me to tell what you are. So I heard I got a super chat while I was gone. Yeah. Wait, before, <laughs> let's, before let's we get, get back to my chat. Yeah, before we I get want to that, it to be we about were, me. We were rating. <laughs> no, we are. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to make rating. it about you. We were rating ourselves on physical attractiveness. Oh, okay. What would you give yourself out of 10? Oh, I don't know if I want it to be about me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just, purely, just answer honestly. Um, purely physical they, they, like, Purely almost, physical? Almost all of them on that side gave themselves 10s. Yeah, I'd say like 8.8. Because like there's always more beautiful people in the world. But like I know. Is that a reference? Are you asking me that because I'm Jewish? Because f- you. No. <laughs> but 8.8. 8. 8. All right. 818 is Kendall Jenner's horrible tequila. Bro, do you, no. think, a, you think a Jew is making a Hitler reference on your show? Yeah, seriously. Jews, I Jews told you that before I sat Hitler down. Joke. Jews, are, Jews get the pass to make the Hitler joke. But we then don't. Then why are you so offended? <laughs> <laughs> you got your third if Jewish or something? Pass, why are you so offended? I'm, I'm not offended. What do you mean? You sounded pretty offended. Is that a Hitler reference? No, I wasn't offended. Okay. Why was I? Were you excited? No, I was just, I was making a joke. <laughs> okay. It was a joke. 8.8. God damn. I don't know. I think there is an objective attractiveness for people. And I think a lot of that is like the beauty standard. Jesus. Actually, because I wasn't here for the beginning part, a lot of it comes from the golden ratio. People yes. whose face is the golden ratio and yep. they're symmetrical. That is what attractiveness is. Yep. That's why when we see things, we're like, that's aesthetic. It's aesthetic to everyone because there's certain things that are pleasing to the eye, like having matching face, a strong jawline, things that that's what makes things beautiful. Golden ratio yep. goes yep. back to like ancient days. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I think in that sense, um, I have some of those things, but also like, I don't know who I could name as a perfect 10, because for me at least, it's objective. It's hard with looks, because I think pers- like if you're an ugly person, you could be so hot, but I will see you as a one, because if you're a bad person, it's hard. That's why like with the person who's like, when, you op- when someone opens their mouth, they drop 10 notches, and like, I am a lot about who you are on the inside, also determines how I feel about you on the outside. Yes, this is very true. Also respect for being an aesthetics respecter. And the golden ratio reference, that is, that is what underlies that is, that, true yeah. beauty. Beauty is objective, in my opinion. That's how they built all the beautiful ancient ruins, by using that ratio. So if it's still beautiful us nowadays, I think it will uh, stand the test of time Symmetry in the way body positivity Chase, will not. Are Which any girls, Chase, this? are any girls at the stable of 10? <laughs> no. Okay, what do you have to say my about dad. that? I thought we were rating ourselves factoring, Looks, like, it's just looks. I, oh. I feel like I'd have a different answer if we what? were just saying just that, looks. That's, that was the question. See, and I'm the opposite. Well, I would have a different when, answer when, if it was overall. When they asked, like, You'd rate yourself out of 10, I wasn't overall. thinking, like, just looks, just, like, yourself, like, as a person. Yeah, no, oh, you're just your physical appearance. Do you want me to re-answer? Yeah. I would say, like, 7. Oh, okay, all right. What about for you? Still 10? Not just a 10, a fat F. Hey, she's 10. a baddie all around. Baddies are, it's a full time job. <laughs> certified. I mean, certified. I still think <laughs> I'm a fucking certified baddie 10, whatever. But like, I'm also not going to come for anybody who has a preference. Like, it is what it is. Like, in my, in some people's eyes, I'm probably like a one. In some people's eyes, I'm a fat fucking 10. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I'm still a fucking 10. Is there a 10. comma I'm, in that know. sentence? Okay, just. 
I feel like um, no one would date someone they didn't think was a, or at least marry someone yeah. that they didn't think was a 10 because like, why would you want to be with someone that you're like, I could find hotter. But don't you think it is delusional to consider yourself a 10? For those of you who rated yourselves a 10. No. no. Whether in appearance or total package. I, no. I don't think it's like think thinking it's that you're the perfect delusional. person, but yeah. just being like confident. Dude, yeah. any any like, person who says, I am a 10, is basically saying, I have zero room for improvement. I'm perfect. That's not what I, I said. I said, no. 10 that's is what perfect. I hear though. Okay, but that's, that's what, what I, I hear. I and I think it's delusional. For improvement. But this is what he just, when, we just, when she said that, room. I clarified if we would ask about our overall personality person as we are as a whole, I wouldn't give myself as a 10. But as attraction level, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm peak athleticism. I'm pretty symmetric face. I would give myself a 10 right now. I'm not. Your peak if, athleticism? My sorry, peak. <laughs> what's your forty yard dash? <laughs> yeah, what's your forty yard? How many pull ups uh, can you do? What, what, how how would you word it peak better? Fitness. Sam? Peak fitness. I'm at, I'm you almost get, at my peak fitness. Nice. Not yet. I would say. I would say so. Yeah. <laughs> so I would give myself a ten in that way. I'm not improving because you're just saying, oh, you could always. You're saying you can't be better. Yeah, I can improve. Maybe my personality things about me, but far as looks wise, there's not much improvement that's happening unless I get some outside help. You're I talking do about think plastic surgery. I would not get plastic surgery. I think I've only gotten hotter with time. I'm you just going to be honest. You think I would get plastic surgery, yeah. Brian? <laughs> Wait, Brian, you Same. think I would get plastic surgery? like fine wine. What mm-hmm. can I say? You think I would get plastic surgery? What would I, I change? Huh? What would I change I think, I think we should move on. I think we should move on. I think we should. I think we should. Let's get to Let's read Deborah's super chat. I want to know, Sam, what would you rate yourself physically out of 10? Physically out of 10, because I'm like 5'8", I'm like a 5'. I think I have a handsome face. It's like a 7. But because I'm so I'm so sure I should just join the circus, I'm like a 5. <laughs> however, however, what, all would you, thing, what would you do in the circus? I would be the short as a guy. woman and be a bearded woman. <laughs> yeah, but Sam, you're really you're physically fit, right? You're like super physically fit. So doesn't that boost you up a bit? E- you mean like in terms of physical attractiveness? Yeah, you're physically not only fit is guy. he physically fit, but he's a stone cold killer, bro. You yeah, see him on the like, jiu-jitsu Are you a black belt Honestly, in jujitsu? Yeah, I'm not a gyms. black belt, but I'm gonna be subbing some black belts this weekend, bro. Let's go. Okay. Let's Boom. go. Uh, but no, yeah, I would say, okay, like, physically, I'm, I, I would say like more like a six, but no, you don't agree, Kiko? What am I on a 10? No, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to say that. I just think it's huh? terrible to say that about yourself. I well, would never want to date a man I who think calls, just because it's because realistic appraisal. Yeah, it's just humility. What is your boyfriend? But I'm not finished. What is your I don't boyfriend? know. You probably rate himself a 10, and I know he's a 10. He's can, fine. Can you text him? Text him and then go ahead. I, I would say you... all things considered, because we're just doing physical attractiveness, but I don't want to do that because as a man, you provide value. There's so much more to a man's personality uh, or to a man than just how he is. I mean, I've heard from women that depending on a man, man's personality, his like physical frame literally changes for them when he owns who he is and when he brings the right energy. So in that sense, I would say an eight because I'm not yet where I want to be in life, uh, but I'm getting there. I totally agree. And that's something that I don't know if it's just like I'm the only person in the history of the world to ever feel this way. It's probably unlikely, but I have not met any other people really close to me that have had the same experience. It's very rare for me to find a guy and be like, he's so hot, like just off the cup, seeing off the cusp, seeing him like across the room, be like, wow, that guy is like a perfect 10. I think that's half that just people are very ugly these days because they don't take care of themselves. But also I definitely am somebody that like the more I am attracted to somebody's personality, the hotter they look to me. And someone who, if I just looked at them and I was like, oh, there are seven. If I started talking to them and found out that they were like a really great man of God, strong personality, very masculine, I'd be like, wow, in my eyes, he's a 10. And I feel like everyone should feel that way about their partner. They may have the objective looks, but when you get to know them, their total person is a 10. Based. And that's what I was going to say to you when you said, like, why would you want to date someone that's not physically a 10? Yeah. And it's like, well, all things considered, you have to look at their values and you have to look at everything else. Like, ideally, you're not going to date anyone below like an eight. And you're going to be at that point, you're like, you're really attracted to someone who's an eight. And then mm-hmm. working on that, you can be even more attracted to them based on how their personality is and how yeah. they how you compliment the one combination. Another. That's but, what but I let saying. me let me ask you something. When you look at a guy and this is for anyone can answer when you look at a guy is like what makes him physically attractive kind of having a more feminine beautiful face to you or is it having like more of a rugged like masculine look because i've seen girls look at like timothy chalamet 
and look at like these guys that look like they have like they have defined bone structure and they're aesthetic and they have the golden ratio but they just yeah. come off they just they have like a skinny they're neck too it's called that they're, they're ugly <laughs> they're what? Men who they're too perfect that vibes. they're ugly Hold no, on, let's go one by one. I feel, I feel like I feel like yeah. teen, like teenage girls, like yeah. those like Timothy Chalamet like type guys. Softies. But once once they like grow older, they like the like more, more masculine. masculine. That's